What up? Whoa. Almost knocked over my STD. You guys see where we are? On this lake right here? There is like probably five, over five inches of ice on this particular lake. This lake right here, right here, never fished my entire life. Never ever fished this lake in my entire life. I've drove around it a million times. I always just saw it. <clears throat> Not a very big lake. It's a shallow lake. Um, fishing probably isn't going to be great in there. You know, people need to get out of that mindset and just try any lake that they can. I am sitting in 16 feet of water right now. I'm on a break. Um, over behind me, there's like a little creek that comes in. And it's really sandy. Gets out to like 25 feet. This is just a nice break here. I'm hoping to catch maybe walleyes because like i said it's kind of sandy behind me i know literally like 12 yards away it's 10 feet and there's some weeds so just outside the weed line like i said it's i'm gonna fish here till dark um yeah well i'm gonna put i got i'm gonna put a tip down out right there um i heard there's crappies in here too never fished it going for the hail mary baby let's give her a shot Come on. Got him. Whatever it is. Pike? I don't know. Smoked it. Please be a walleye. No, it's a darn pike. <laughs> it's a pike. Smacked my digging ramp. I mean my buckshot. He sure did. Just a little guy. Come on, dude, settle down, settle down, settle down. Little guy. And just looking at him, you guys, I would say he's been, uh, oh, I lost my cold snap. Freaking toothpick, too. I think it's only in the corner of his mouth. So take a look at this, see that? Right there, you guys. That is a bite mark, I'm pretty sure. Cause on this side it's all scaled up and done up too. I'd almost bet that was from a big pike. I might come back here in a day or so and try and shoot a pike video. Because if he's getting eaten by pike, there's gotta be bigger ones than him in here, right? Right, all right, home slice, get out of here. Yeah, just sit there, just kidding. Get out of here. Get. There you go. Yeah. Go find your other buddies and tell them not to come back. We got something on the tip down here, boys. Got it, whatever it is. What do we got? What do we got? Going for crappie, but almost fighting like a walleye. Is it a walleye? What's oh, a largemouth? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's a largemouth bass. Well, that's cool. Kind of largey. What's the start, you guys? Looked over and she was just dropping slow. Cool. All right, well you guys, that's a start. You know, a lot of people ask me, why do you use these tip downs, you guys? And I'm gonna show you exactly why these tip downs are way better set rods than even the iFish pros, yes, people are going to be like, no, they're the best. This is like one of the big reasons, okay? Okay, so your minnow's down there. See this wind? Wind's moving the rod around. If you're fishing with a dead bait and it's on a tip up, 
that dead bait is sitting there, not moving, not doing nothing. It's on a, even an iFish Pro, it's sitting there, it's not doing nothing. If it's on this, if it's on this tip down, the wind's moving it. So that bait's moving around, it's letting oil out into the water, you know, and that's what those, that's those fish key in on, okay? And then the other thing, see that? See the minnow go down? What happens when the minnow goes down, you guys? The rod goes down. With a tip up or anything else, the minnow sits and it stops and it can't swim anywhere. Well, when these, when these minnows can swim down, they feel like they're getting somewhere. Well, this minnow swims down and the rod goes down and it comes back up. And these fish have this, you know, great ability to swim around, even with a bobber, you know. Bobbers, there's resistance there. It holds the minnow up. With these tip downs, these minnows can swim down and get that rod moving. That is the big game changer. I hate that. It's a horrible phrase to say. I don't like saying that phrase. But it, it's, it's such a big deal, you guys, literally. It's such a huge deal when you're fishing with tip downs. You know, yeah, that's the big deal. Just, you guys, I just put this tip down down. I was just gonna change my propane tank when something came up and hammered my fat head. I literally just got it down two seconds ago. Got it, whatever it is. Dude. Stuck in the weed or something? Dude, I don't know what this thing's stuck on. I'm in like freaking 17 feet of water. This thing is stuck on something in the bottom. I'm not even kidding you. Is there an anchor or something down there? What the hell, man? Um, this is really weird, you guys. There's no nothing down there. I guess nothing I can do. I mean, pull until it, it's gonna break me off, you guys. It is hooked on an anchor rope or something. It's gotta be. I don't know what else. It'd be hooked. Yeah, there it goes. It broke me off. What the hell? You guys, not cool. I don't know what the heck that could have been, but it broke me off. And it was. I mean, what it gets stuck in, you guys? What the hell? That is totally freakish. Monster on the bottom gets my line wrapped in something. Hmm. That's kind of scary. I mean, and it, and it ran right into it. There's a fish down here. He was just on the graph. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to get my minnow down there fast enough. Ooh, there's a, there's a fish. Ooh, there's already a fish on it. Has he got it? No, he missed it. Or he hasn't got it yet. Come on. You're right there. Eat it. Got it, whatever it is. Crappie? Be a crappie. <laughs> got a big old bluegill? What is it? Oh, it's a big old bluegill, you guys. Okay, well, catching everything out here except for what I'm expecting. Oh, it just came off. Dude. This whole freaking fishing escapade is a disaster. Really, you guys. fish on this? I think there's a fish on this. Yep. Alright, you guys. There's a fish on here. I took my minnow. There's a fish on here. Get this out of the way. Please, I don't know. Crappie, crappie, crappie. 
crappy, 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 right? Still there. Got it, whatever it is. See if this gets caught in the same stupid thing that the other one did. What do we got? A pike. Just like. <laughs> That's not the same one I cut earlier, is it? Better not be. Okay, it's not. I got a fish on here? Got him. Whatever it is. What do we got? Another bluegill. <laughs> bluegill on a crappie minnow. You guys, look at that. <laughs> okay, dude, go back in the water. There's more fish down there. But that bluegill charged like way up to get that minnow. I figured crappie. I figured wrong. Those all bluegills down there. There's some fish just outside the cone, you guys. It looks suspiciously like. Maybe bluegill. I'm gonna drop this minnow back down here. Gotta be. Gotta be bluegills. Oh, there's a fish right there, right? Yep. It's a fish. Got it. Got it. What do we got here? Another bluegill? Crappie. It's fighting like a crappie. Oh yeah, boys, there we go. Crappie success, crappie success. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> oh. There we go, you guys. It's a nice crappie. Gosh, there we go. The new lake is producing and there's snow. Oh, there's still fish down there. fish right there. Yep, there's a fish right there. Right? Yep, there's a fish right there, you guys. Give him a little bit of line. Got him. What do we got? What do we got? Haha. <laughs> and a bluegill. Huh. Gosh, there's some... Ooh, that's... Another bluegill. Oh gosh. There's some big fish down there too. Still waiting. So if I can get this nice bluegill off of here quickly. Probably get back down there and see what's going on. Oh yeah, it's right in the top of his mouth. There we go. There you go, fella. All right, set that down. Got him. Whoa. Nice. Big, be a big old crappie, you guys. This is nice, whatever it is. Be a crappie. This might be a walleye, too. Oh, is this, it is a walleye. What is it? Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> you guys, I got another bass. I got a bass. Freaking largemouth, you guys. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, there's more fish down there. We're gonna let you go. There's a bunch of fish right on the bottom. There he goes, he's got it. He's got it now. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it. I got him. Pike? Maybe? Walleye would be nice. Gosh, he just sat there off the bottom, eyeballing it forever. Oh, he's fighting like a pike. Oh. Uh, he's kind of fighting like a walleye now. A lot of people ask me, Scott, why do you back reel? Why do I back reel, guys? Line twist. 
stops line twist. You use drag, it is going to be really bad, you guys. I didn't kidding you. Please let it be a walleye. Caught about everything else. No, nope. oh, it's a nice northern though. That's a nice pike. That's a nice pike. That's a nice pike, you guys. Wrapped around his face and everything else. Yep. You got it. Oh, but I got him. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, just a nice chunky pike, you guys. Guess I can't complain about that. Ah. <sighs> Except for the fact I know that there's walleyes in here. That's what I want. I want a walleye. Got it. Crappie? Gotta be a crappie, you guys. Big old crappie. Come on, baby. Yep, yep, I see him down there. Nice crappie. Oh. Ha. Nice slabber in either, boys. There we go. Here we go. That's, uh, I don't know, 12 inches? What do you think? Close. Would not take my minnow, but he came and ate my waxy. Got to be close to 12, aren't you? Yeah, 11 and a half. It's a nice crappie. There we go. The night bite, boys. It's crappening. I got a fish on my did stick, don't I? Right? Yep. There's a fish on my did stick, guys. Could be a crap. He just come up and whacked it. I'm gonna give him a second here. Got him. Crappy. Right? Oh, 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 it's a big old crappie, you guys. Here we go, another big old crappie. Oh. Ooh. Can't leave my forceps. Nice, you guys. Look at that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Nice crappie, you guys. Look at that. Just a butte, eh? There we go. Man, I bet that one's 12. Darn close. Yep, 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. That is a nice crop, you guys. There you go, dude. Gone. That's two in like five minutes. Well, gentle folks, this is what we call the end of the night. So, 16 feet of water is where I ended up setting us, setting us up at. Me, us, whatever you're here, right? 16 feet of water back here at about 10 feet. There was some standing weeds over here. Almost lost my rod. Not really, I almost dropped it, but over here it's like 22, 23 feet somewhere on there. It's just a hole. And I just thought that uh, 16 feet would be a great, I, you know, a great spot to sit right on the brake line here. Might catch a little bit of anything. Um, and we basically did caught pike, we caught bass, we caught bluegills, we caught crappies, caught some nice crappies. Didn't get any walleyes, but guys i marked some big fish that wouldn't come in and i had a big fish on the get wrapped around the titanic or something you guys seen that there is nothing down there in this 16 feet so i don't know if a tree is down there or a sam squatch or whatever is down there but it got wrapped in that and broke my line i'm pretty sure it was a 40 inch walleye 
seen the tail. Anyway, quick rundown. You guys can see all my stuff. That's pretty sweet. Added that this morning. This is the light bar from Otter. Um, got the Markham LX7 over there. Got a heater. My two new custom rods. This here is a precision. Um, I was kind of jigging, doing everything with that. I got a bull whip. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, all that jibber jabber. Peace out. I was angry.